Hey, it's Tim here in 23.2, Tableau have added additional capabilities to manage personal access tokens. To find out what they are and to see what those options are, let's get stuck in. Okay, so you're probably wondering, hey, what are personal access tokens? Well, if you don't know what they are, uh, Tableau actually describes them to you here in the general tab. If you scroll down to the personal access token sections, it actually gives you a description, but I'll do it in plain English as well. Uh, they're just essentially long-lived authentication tokens that allow users to sign into the Tableau REST API without requiring hard-coded credentials, i.e. username and password. So instead of a username and password, you essentially get given a token. So a token is something like, uh, let's say I create a token called test, um, that token would have a name called test. It would then have a key and it would also have a secret essentially. And so what that allows you to do is essentially use that instead of a username and password. And the idea is that really only you and the application should know that information and therefore nothing else should really know those uh, pieces of information. And they're also sort of quite obscure. In fact, what we can do is we can, uh, let me go ahead and show you how to create a, a personal access token. If you go to your account settings and you scroll down uh, you can see here's the personal access token interface so we can go ahead and create a personal access token called the test create a token and you'll see that this one gets an expiration date of august the 12th this is the name of the token this is the secret and you can copy this secret and because you're all seeing this this means i'm going to delete this straight away um, but nonetheless you could then use this to do something on uh, my tableau cloud instance uh, with this particular login so because you've all seen it i'm going to go ahead and revoke the token straight away and there you go it's completely gone so that's how you create them and that's how you use them now up until recently uh, people have been able to create these but there hasn't been a way for admins to really manage how they work so uh, what we can go ahead and do is we go to the settings tab here, go down to general. Uh, you can see here it's at the top and then scroll down to the personal access token section. You have to keep scrolling because Tableau keeps adding stuff to this and they don't give you a quick way <laughs> to go and find the specific thing you're actually interested in. There we go. We finally got there. Managed to fill the space with some uh, chats. So here we are, personal access tokens. Now you have these options. So you can enable personal access tokens on the site. So you can go ahead and disable them so people can't actually create them, which is quite good, actually. It's important to be able to do that because if people are giving these to applications, you kind of want to make sure that you, you have some sort of oversight of that. The other thing is you can say, look, all users on the site can do this, or you could make certain users in a specific group have this ability. So you could, for example, go and get users from your test group to have this capability. And so they'll be the only ones able to create those personal access tokens. The second thing is you can set an expiration period. So if you have an enterprise-wide expirational password cycle management uh, you know, setup, you can go ahead and set it to 180 days, which is the default, or in some organizations, they might have a specific number, let's say 100. 120. Uh, you can go ahead and just type that in. Let me just do that now. Uh, and once we've done all that, you can go ahead and hit save. And that immediately means that those have been changed. Now, the weird thing is what I would still like to be able to do is to get some oversight of all these personal access tokens. I'm not sure if that's something that's coming in the future, um, but I do think it would be really, really nice just to see all the personal access tokens that have been created somewhere in this interface. I'm sure Tableau has already thought about this, um, but that would be sort of the next step, uh, sort of an, an ability to audit these and see when they're being used, see how frequently they're being used, and potentially even what applications and what activities are being run from them. I know that you can already get some of this with specific data from Postgres or specific data from the auditing capabilities of Tableau. But again, just making this more visible and more readily available, I think will be a great step forward. If you know more about these and I've missed something, let me know in the comments below. I'm always uh, very uh, you know, conscious that this is not a topic area that I'm super uh, you know, confident in. So if you know something that I've missed that should be in this video, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and I'll mark it uh, as pinned on this uh, video so other people can see your comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.